The Settings menu lets you customize certain aspects of your service. Press the Menu button on the remote control and arrow down to Settings. Under the Settings menu, you can change your display settings and your guide settings. You can also change your parental ratings. If you have a DVR, you can make changes to how you want to display certain settings as they relate to your recorded programs. Please refer to the Manage Your Recording section of this tutorial for information on recording settings and the Phone Menu section for information on phone settings. Edit Favorites was covered in an earlier section, Working with Favorites. If you arrow to the right and highlight Display Settings and press OK, you can change how the set-top box should display specific items. For each option, simply use the arrow buttons to see available choices. You can turn closed captioning on or off, change the audio language and audio format, and change the connector and TV output type. For example, you would need to display an HDTV in 16x9 and a regular television in 4x3. Here, you can also change your conversion mode and output resolution. Typically, these are items set at the time of installation and then left alone. You can also disable the auto standby or set it to after 10 hours. Once you have made changes, highlight Save and press the OK button on your remote. If you are afraid you have made changes that you do not want, you can always exit without saving your changes. If you arrow to the right and highlight Guide Settings and press OK, you can adjust how guide information displays. The default guide setting determines how you prefer to display the guide when you press the Guide button one time. Your options are Full Screen and Corner Screen Guide. The After Changing Channel field determines what you want to do when you change a channel. Should the guide stay open or should it close as soon as you select a channel? The settings for Remember Channel Filters are Yes or No. If set to Yes, the service will remember when you have selected a favorites list and keep you in that list. You can also adjust how many columns and rows are displayed in the time guide. For example, if the guide is set to 3x3, three three, the guide shows less information and the text is a little larger on the screen. If your TV is small, you might want to change to this option. Likewise, you may want to show more information on the screen by setting it to six rows and six columns, and the guide shows more information per screen with smaller text. It's all a matter of preference. Inactivity timeout refers to how long the service will wait for a key to be pressed before the set-top box times out and closes the menu. Options range from one second to two minutes to never. If never is selected, you'll always need to press exit to clear the screen. You can adjust scrolling behavior so you can scroll through channels in the guide either by channel or page by page. Finally, when you use the Browse key to scroll through channels, the Browser Bar Inactivity Timeout setting determines how long the browser bar information will display on the screen once you stop scrolling. If you are afraid you have made changes that you do not want, you can always exit without saving your changes or highlight Default and press the OK button on your remote control to go back to the factory-defined settings. The Settings menu also gives you access to options regarding the recordings on your DVR. From the main menu, highlight Settings, arrow to the right, and select Recording to change settings related to your recorded programs. You can group your titles by program within a specific folder by choosing Yes. When viewing your future or recorded program listings with the Auto Expand selection set to Yes, you will receive info about each specific program. If Show Folders is set to Yes, programs will be grouped into specific folders. If Show Folders is set to No, all programs will be displayed individually. When watching a recorded program or viewing your lists of future and already recorded programs, you can choose how long you want the playback bar to display before automatically closing. If never is selected, you will need to press exit for the playback bar to close. While watching a recorded program, you can choose to have a skip icon 
that will display when you press the Skip Forward button on the remote, or you can choose to display the playback bar whenever you press the Skip Forward button on your remote. If you would like the playback to include an Auto Reverse feature, you can set that to Always or Never. You can also program the Skip Forward and Skip Back buttons. These can be set from 1 to 999 seconds. Once you have made your setting changes, highlight Save and then press the OK button on your remote. If you are afraid you have made changes that you do not want, you can always exit without saving your changes, or highlight Default and press the OK button on your remote to go back to the factory-defined settings.